What's up good people, Safari Tourist here again. Please, if you have not subscribed or liked our channel, please do so. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that you are notified whenever we drop another video. Also like and share to your friends and family. Today's questions as posed to me regarding the DV lottery, straight to number one, I applied my for my green card with my first child but in the process later I give one to another child will that be a problem absolutely no if you did your initial application for the green card and in that process you give one to another child you have a chance still to file the DS-260 including that child so don't worry about that you got the chance when you will do the filing and as long as you have the documents that both children legitimately be belong to you you will be all right don't worry about that next question when filing the application should i use only capital letters doesn't matter if you decide to do the capital letters or the small caps doesn't matter as long as the information you entering is factual and clear that's what matters true to the point next question is green card automatic or one can fail interview after winning absolutely it's not that automatic if you have had a bad history it won't be automatic you'll be denied a visa based on number one misrepresentation of facts or falsification of documentation or information you won't qualify just stick to the truth give your information or documentation as they are just be real don't be fake another aspect if you were convicted or tried of a crime and you indicated on your initial application that you've never been charged or tried that is absolutely false and on that basis you'll be denied just have the documentation and fill everything truthfully as it is to make matters easy don't harden your case the green card interviews are the most easy and straightforward interviews if you have your paperwork straight and you have your history straight it won't take you four minutes before you are out of the building you're done with the consular and you are good to go the most you can take even with a family the most is eight minutes if your things are straight and to the point just stick to the reality and stick to proper documentation the next question I did a mistake on my name during the initial application of the DV lottery don't worry about that you've got a chance if you were selected entrant when the results are announced in the month of May every year you can do those changes and you can file the right names as they appear in your documents during filing of the DS-260 the last question I had TB nine years ago and I got cured but the scars still remain will that be a deterrent for visa denial during medicals absolutely no if you had a, a TB and you got cured and you have the paperwork they will do medical examination on you during your medical interviews so they together with the documentation that you will provide i believe they will do a judgment as long as you are not contagious you qualify as long as you are not infected and contagious you do qualify absolutely so if you are keyword you need not to be worried about this you are good to go and as long as you have your documentation yep some little worries 
Don't worry about it. Stick to the truth. Tell them and give them their paperwork. And they'll get you to the right paths. Finally, thank you so much. Please keep subscribing, keep liking our channel, and keep posting more questions. Like and comment as well. Thank you so much and enjoy your day. Bye.